Sooner or later, you're going to have to buy some OEM replacement parts for your Japanese motorcycle. Should you buy at the local dealer? Should you buy online at one of the discount places? That's what we're going to talk about today, coming up right now on Cruise Man's Garage. So the other day, I needed to order four caliper bolts for my brake calipers on my 2018 Goldwing. So I thought, well, this would be a good way to kind of check and see what the prices are like, what the shipping, the taxes, and the total cost is. Should I buy these things at one of these discount online or so-called discount online uh, resellers, or should I just go down to the local dealer and pick up some caliper bolts? Okay, so here's what I did. I went to several different websites and I did some comparisons. But to be fair, I want to let you know up front, I only did checking on this particular product, the four caliper bolts. This could be different results based on a different product. I'm looking for four caliper bolts for the 2018 Goldwing. Different product, different parts could yield different results, but these were my results. So first I went to one of the bigger websites that I'm familiar with called BikeBandit.com. Well, what did BikeBandit have to offer? Bike Bandit was selling these caliper bolts for $8.95 each for a total of $35.80. With $9.95 shipping, which was one of the lower shipping rates I found, that was a total of $45.75. Yes, I know, caliper bolts are expensive. They're not cheap. But then I decided to go to wingstuff.com because I do a lot of business with Wingstuff too. And the bolts were $8.76, a little cheaper than Bike Bandit. And the shipping was $9.99, just a few cents more for a total of $45.03, so a little bit of a savings. When I went to Mr. Cycles, which is another popular website for OEM parts, they sold the bolts pretty cheap, $7.05, but the shipping was expensive, $14.25. The total was still cheaper, $42.45, so quite a bit of savings there. Now, here's an old favorite, direct line parts, $8.30 each for the bolts. That was the, no, not the best price I found, but pretty close. And only $7.50 shipping for a total of $40.70. Not bad. Now, I also checked an a, a online dealer that a friend of mine referred me to called Parts Pit Stop. They're charging $8.45 for the bolt but $11.95 shipping for a total of $45.75. And then we get to uh, CycleMax.com, and I buy a lot of stuff from CycleMax.com. Their price was $7.05 per bolt for a total of $28.20 with $11 shipping. That came to a total of $39.20. So what's the result? I also called my local Honda dealer, Maxim Honda in Allen, Texas. I thought, what the heck, let's see what they sell them for. Actually, I was surprised. They, they are more expensive. They sell them for $9.99, but you don't have to pay shipping. But you do have to pay sales tax, $3.30 sales tax. So the total, if I went to my local Honda dealer, was $43.26. So now, what is the, if you look at all these compared, what's the best deal? Where is the best place to buy? Well, I, I did make the purchase. I decided to purchase from CycleMax.com because overall it was the cheapest price. It was $39.20. That was the lowest price with shipping. And they do say it takes five to 10 days. My Honda dealer said I could have had it in three days, three to five days. So if I was in a hurry, I might have just gotten it from the local Honda dealer, paid the extra four or five dollars, but then I got to drive over there and pick it up. Okay, so. The two best prices were, surprisingly, CycleMax.com and DirectLine Parts. The most expensive prices were Parts Pit Stop and BikeBandit.com. So anyway, this was my experience shopping for some OEM replacement parts, just the brake caliper bolts online. I just thought you guys might want to know what my results were. Now, also, some of these websites offer VIP programs that you can join, you pay a fee. If you're a VIP member, I'm not sure how they work on OEM parts, but some of them may actually offer you a better price on OEM parts if you're a member of their VIP program. I did not take that into consideration, so that's something else you have to think about. Also, another caveat is shipping. 
Uh, most of the shipping charges are based on zip code. I live in Texas. Uh, if you live in a different zip code, your shipping charges may be different than my shipping charges. And none of the websites that I went to said anything about sales tax. So apparently Texas is not real picky on making these people pay the state sales tax. And all of these were out-of-state vendors. So none of them were going to charge me sales tax. Now, if you live in a different state, uh, with different laws, different regulations, you may have to pay sales tax, and that's going to change these numbers quite a bit. So anyway, good luck shopping for OEM parts. I hope you have found this valuable. If you like this video, you want more videos like this, more motor vlogs, more cool tools, please click that little subscribe button down below, and if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. Thanks again for watching Cruise Man's Garage.